वेलकम टू इट्स रफी इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी रिवाइज द पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू ऑफ चैप्टर टू हियर वी विल रिवाइज पार्ट थ्री हियर वी हैव दिस टॉपिक्स लिंक फ्रेम्स एंड फ्रॉम्स फर्स्ट विल कम टू लिंक्स लिंक्स व्हाट इज हाइपर लिंक अ हाइपर लिंक इज अ फीचर्स ऑफ एच टी एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट विच एलावास टू लिंक बिटवीन डिफरेंट वेब पेजेस so hyperlink we can easily navigate from one page to another in www and it is a very useful feature of html hyperlinks uh, how will know that in a page the text is whether a hyperlink a link or a text a normal text normally by default the hyperlinks are in blue color and it is underlined so when you will see a blue text with underline you will know that this is a link when you hover the mouse pointer to a link it changes into a the mouse pointer which is normally in a arrow shape it changes into a small pointing hand okay hover means to move the mouse cursor to above the text or the link and different types of hyperlink or different types of link we use two type of link here first is internal here we create link within the same page normally when we have a very long page i think you have seen in wikipedia uh, some articles are very long so at top only we are getting some link like biography early life early life careers and all so this type of link we can by using internal link and external to link another to another web page or uh, the page may be in same website or in another website it does not matter but there are some rules when the page is in same folder or same website we just we can just write the file name but if the page is located in another website we have to write the complete url or address and we use anchor tag to create a link attribute of anchor tag are href and target there is one more attribute which is not mentioned in the book that is name by using name we can give a tooltip information tooltip means uh, some helping text means what about the link these things we can write and href it specify the link specify the url of the link and target it decide where we will open the page href it specify the url of a page that link goes to and target it specify where to open the link document the value of target attributes are blank self top and parent and we use blank value to open the web page in another tab or a new window use of href attribute it specify the link to destination page or url it points out the destination page and the syntax is a href within inverted comma we will write the url name after that we will write the link name then a will be close link can be image and text both when we create a link as image then instead of the link name we write the img tag there so in place of text the image will appear default link color is blue default by default the link appears in blue color and when we click the link at that moment the the link color is red and if we visit a link already visit a link that link will changes into purple color Uh, these are the css property to change the appearance of a link a link it uh, signifies the unvisited color through a link we can change the unvisited color link from blue to any other by a visited we can change the visited color of the link a hover we can change the hovering uh, hovering effect of the link and a active by that we can use the uh, change the active link color and uh, even we can create the link as a button by using css 
Now we'll come to audio and video tag. First audio tag. HTML allows us to add both audio and video to our web page. Audio tag allows us to add audio to our web page. Some popular formats are MP3, OGG, Web, etc. Attributes of audio tag are SRC, controls, autoplay, and loop. And you also need to know the definitions. SRC <coughs> spelling is wrong. S it should be SRC. It signifies the source of the audio file. Controls it uh, display the buttons like play, pause, stop to the web page. Autoplay it automatically paid, play the music file when you load the page. Loop it replay the audio file when it finishes. Video tag. We use video tag to add video to a web page. Some popular formats are MP4, AVI, FLV, etc. And attributes are same as audio, SRC, controls, autoplay, loop. Just here we get two more extra attributes. They are height and wide. So by using height, we can specify the height of the video. And by using wide, we can specify the wide of the video. Now frames. Frames and iframes take. Frames allow us to divide the web page into several independent windows, allowing multiple views at a time. When we have to display more than one content at the same time, at that moment, we can use frames. You have seen most of the website, the top portion, which we call as heading, it never changes. It is remaining same. So at that moment, we can use frame. We can keep our frame at top. So we don't have to create the header again and again. A collection of frames in a web browser is called frame set. It is used in the older version of HTML, which is HTML4. But in HTML5, frame, frame sets are not used. Instead of frame set, we use iframe tag. In HTML5, we use iframe tag to create a frame. The attributes of iframe tag are SRC, height and wide. Here SRC signifies the source of the frame or the page that we are going to display. Height signifies the height of the frame and wide signifies the wide of the frame. CSS property of iframe. Now when we insert a frame, there we see one uh, gray type border. So that border color and border style we can customize by using CSS. Here we use border property to change it and uh, border property can be used by following ways. First we write border width WIDTH, this is missing here. This uh, signifies the thickness of the border, means how much thick the border will be. We can give like a border 1px, that means the border thickness will be 1 pixels. Border style, this signifies the style of the border, we can add different types of different styles of border like solid, dazed, dotted, doubled, etc. So whatever you like that one you can write in border style. Then border color, it is the color of the border. What color border do you want? Now prompts in HTML. Prompts is used to collect user information from the site visitor. When you visit any web page like Facebook and all, when you update status on a box, you are writing something that is actually a form. And when you click on the this one button, submit or share story and all, that are actually buttons. So how do we can create this type of form in HTML? In HTML, we use from tag to create a form. A form takes the input from the user and post it back to the backend. Now we know that HTML is a front end language. So it cannot do anything, it can do just designing part. When we create a form, it is just a demo. It when we click on the button, it do nothing. If we actually want to save the data somewhere, then we have to write also 
also backend language it can be php uh, it can be asp or maybe react so any type of language we can use it for the backend there are different types of controls in a form they are text input control text boxes checkbox controls we can create checkboxes radio box control we can make radio box we can make radio boxes and uh, select box we can create a drop down list or some multiple options from here user can select one or more file upload controls to upload files and field set to keep the controls in a group submit and reset controls to create buttons first we'll come to text input controls here we get three types of text input control single line text input here we can accept a single line of text by using input tag. password control same as single line text input control just here characters as soon as the user enters you have seen when you type password anywhere it changes into a dot or star sign so that can be done by using password input control and multi-line text input control uh, when we have to take multiple line of data or a longer text from the user at that time we use multi uh, text area control then checkbox and radio box this is also very important remember checkbox allow user to select one or more options from a predefined set of options means the options will write before only from there user will select from here either one or more options and radio same as checkbox but just one difference here user can select just one option but checkbox the user can select more than one so this is the only difference between these two radio box and checkbox select box and file upload box a select box is also called drop down list or drop down box it provides options of list as a drop down list of various options from where user can select one or more options we use select uh, we use select along with option tag to create a select box and also there is one more topic this uh, field set field set we use to group the controls of a form to group the related controls of a form there to define the title of the group we use listen tag so this also remember now we will come to upload box to this upload box allow the user to upload a file to the website we use input tag along with type attribute as file for example input type file name we can give any name now we'll move to button controls we are getting mainly buttons it allow user to click and when the user click the button it should do something we get mainly three type of button and buttons can be created by using input tag these three types are submit button it submit the form automatically when we click the sub click the submit and reset button when we click a reset button it clears the control or it resets the controls to its initial stage or value initial stage means at first when we open the form how it was it will be same to same as that and button it triggered a client side script when user click the button client side script means by using javascript we can give some restriction to our form like we can check whether the phone number is valid whether user have written uh, eight characters or not eight digit characters or not for password these things we can do by using javascript so to that we have to run javascript program that can be done by using button so these are the important topic of chapter 2 part 3 i hope you have understood if you still have any confusion you can write in comment section and a pdf copy of this explanation will be in, available in telegram and thank you for supporting me thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye